Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to open multiple programs at one time using one shortcut. And if you want to learn how I did it by using this little BMO thing on my desktop, you can click this video and figure out how I did it like that. So this is a really easy thing. All we need is Notepad. So all we got to do is open up Notepad and as our top line of text, we're going to type at echo space off. And under that, we're going to type start space quotation quotation space and then we're gonna paste the path of the program or folder or whatever you want to open right there where it says paste path here and to get a path for a program all you have to do is hold shift right click and click on copy path then just paste it in at the end of the line so I'm gonna make another program open with this by typing the same start thing and let's say you weren't able to get the path by holding shift. We're going to find the program you want, right click it, go to open file location, you might have to go to open file location again, and then you'll get to the directory folder. And once you're in the directory folder, you're going to go to the top of the folder to the address bar, type in the slash, and then start to type in the name of the exe. When you see the result pop up on the bottom, scroll down to it and copy it, and now you have your path and you can paste it in right there. But hopefully the first way works for you and you won't have to do that. So we've pretty much completed this. All we have to do is make sure we add the quotations to this. And we're going to go to save as, and this is the most important part. You're going to name it. And when you name it, be sure you type in dot B-A-T dot bat and save it. And boom, we're done. So now when we click on this, I'll open up whatever programs we assign to it. As you can see, it's open in Chrome and my video editing software. And if you ever want to make that file open more programs, what you can do is right click it and go to edit and it'll open up WordPad again for you and you just save it once you've added your new line. So I hope this video helped and if it did, be sure to like and subscribe and maybe check out some of my other videos. You guys have a good one. Peace out guys.